Sometimes you can just tell when a question is going to be hard. I can tell just based on the, the length of this passage, the length of the choices, that this, this might be a little bit more difficult some of the other ones in this module. So regardless, we're going to approach it the same way. We're going to read the passage. We're going to come up with maybe a dumb summary if we can about what's important, what's going on. I'm going to highlight any strong words I notice as I go. That way you can kind of see as I'm reading this, like what jumps out to me as maybe being important. So let's take a look. In 2022, Crystal Reek and colleagues studied whether the decision-making modes that guide consumers influence their choice between non-environmentally friendly standard electricity plans and environmentally friendly green plans that cap electricity usage. So right now, I haven't highlighted anything. There's a lot of details in there, and I feel like they're going to matter, but I'll, I'll come back to them. Let's see what they say about these plans and about the differences before I start worrying about the details. Study participants who self-reported using either an effect, affect mode or a role mode, which prioritize choices that have a stronger positive emotional or social impact respectively, were more likely to select a green plan. Okay, so emotional or something positive emotional or social impact are more likely to select a green plan. Okay, so that, that's what I got. Notice I'm not memorizing affect mode, role mode. Maybe that matters, but it's not going anywhere. So I can go with that later if I need. Conversely, meaning oppositely, participants using a calculation mode, which aims to minimize both financial cost and personal inconvenience, were more likely to select a standard plan. So cost and inconvenience um, meant the standard plan. Even when the green option was cheaper. So, oh, that's interesting, right? So I don't know why that's interesting, but they just said that the, the, the cost thing is what they're thinking of with the calculation mode. But if the green plan is cheaper, they're, they're not doing it. So maybe the cost doesn't matter. I don't know. But you see how like very quickly I'm like, oh, they're talking about cost. And now they're saying that something weird about the cost, right? So that, that resonates with me. This finding suggests that participants using a calculation mode, I don't know. I mean, my guess here, dumb summary, is that this is going to have something to do with the cost. Because they're talking about lots of different things, but the money thing is the weird one to me, right? So let's see. I don't know. We can always go back to certain parts of the question if we need, but I'm going to go to the choices now. I'm not going to reread. I'm going to go to the choices and just see if anything starts to match with what I remember and what I highlighted. Um, okay. Uh, the participants using a calculation mode were equally unlikely to factor the financial savings of the green plan into their decision making as were participants using either the affect or role modes. Okay. Equally unlikely. That is a very, very specific claim. Remember, we need to be nervous of things that quantify stuff, right? What does it mean to be equally likely? That means your odds are exactly the same. Your chances of doing making some sort of decision are exactly the same. They are equal, not close to equal, equal. Do they talk about that? Do they talk about like a certain percentage of people chose this plan or a certain percentage of people went with the cost? No, they're, they're not quantifying things in the passage. So I, I don't want to really quantify things in the choice either. Plus, this seems to be making a comparison between the calculation mode and the other modes. I guess they're kind of doing that, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like much more they're talking about, they're trying to talk about the calculation mode, right? So I, I, don't, I don't know. This, this, honestly, I've just eliminated. This does not seem right to me. Uh, B, they may have been less strongly motivated to appear socially responsible with their choice of plan than they realized. Well, do we talk about what they thought in this at all? Like, do they talk, do we talk about what they were, what their intention was? I don't think so. Uh, plus the social responsibility thing, um, that's not the calculation mode. That's the other modes. So we're trying to talk about the calculation mode. So I don't think the social responsibility thing matters at all for them, right? It wasn't it wasn't a factor. So again, I, I just don't like that choice. Uh, C, they may have determined that the green plan imposed additional burdens on them that were not sufficiently offset by the potential financial savings. So I like that it says financial savings, right? That kind of matches my dumb summary. So let me, I could think about this more. I mean, at this point, maybe I just go to D and, and see if that has anything to do with what's happening. They were less likely to believe that the green plan was truly cost effective than were participants using either the affect or role modes. Well, that definitely has cost. So that, that part checks off. Now I can think about a wedge, right? Why are these choices different? Well, this one is only really about the calculation people. It's not being, so the, the, uh, that I'm meaning C, right? So this is still a comparison. 
comparing the other people, the other roles to the calculation role. Again, I don't think we're really doing that. We're not saying they're more or less likely to do anything. So I just, I don't love that. Um, plus, yeah, I don't, I don't know that they believe, like if it was truly cost effective, like I don't know what the affect or role people believed. They weren't interested in cost. So why would we compare what they believed about the cost to what the calculation people believed about the cost? I don't know. Let's look at C again. May have determined, the calculation mode people may have determined that the green plan imposed additional burdens on them that were not sufficiently offset by the potential financial savings. Meaning, like, what are the other burdens, right? Well, they talk about convenience. So maybe, yeah, it's cheaper, but it's going to be a bigger pain in the ass. Well, fine, then let's not use that plan is maybe how those people would think. So notice how I don't need to think very hard myself to make that choice fit with the story. I can kind of like pick it apart, ask some questions, and then the answers to those questions are kind of just like right there. I would be very confident that it's C. This is definitely a harder question. I had to do a lot more thinking than most of the other stuff in this module. But like, I don't know, my normal system of kind of going through the choices worked. I had a dumb summary that was very simple, just kind of focused on something that I, that no, I noticed was a little weird at the end of that passage. Uh, without writing a complicated sentence or theory or hypothesis or whatever, I was able to go to the choices and, and really get down to two just based on that concept of cost. And then I have other things that I'm using, my ideas about trap answers to sort through that. So it's a complicated question. I, I definitely am using strategies, but the strategies worked in my opinion. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. But I would say that this is a good example of a question everyone should be able to get right because it's the first module. If you're doing things right in other parts of the module, you'll have time to tinker with something like this. You wouldn't be really running out of time if you're doing things right in other places.